I hope whatever happens to you in this new world of yours, I hope it really sucks for you. <laughs> you and your pathetic little friends crying. crying. It brings laughter, laughter to, to me. me. <laughs> Get that wicked thing out of our world. Ready, Winter? And ready. Let's go, pretty girl. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, Master Hemroid, but, um... Do not call me that! You think it is funny, peasant? Yeah, I hear a pain in the butt. <laughs> Very funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Look, I know I'm supposed to be, like, your maid girl and everything, but, like, um... Do you want me to, like, dress up? Or, you know, be me? Or... Just leave me alone! Your presence is an annoyance! Is it now? That's my job. I'm supposed to annoy you. Like, you want to listen to some night car? <sighs> Leave me alone. What are you doing, by the way? It's none of your concern. You know, for an evil character, I thought you were supposed to be like kind of like funny. You know, kind of like the Joker. You know how a lot of villains are? They're like kind of funny, but also evil at the same time. Why are you like that? You're like the most cringiest. Let me show you how to properly. You must strike while the iron is hot. Summon your enemy at their worst time. <laughs> you gotta work on that evil laugh, dude. I'm I'm gonna leave now. Yes, yes, I do need to work on that evil laugh. Welcome to my castle, Korea. Aren't you supposed to be wreaking havoc in Willisville or something? Let me tell you what really happened. Go away! Well, that's no way to treat a girl. You know, I have to admit, he is pretty attractive. I have only one job, and that is not concerning. to take over your worlds. That's all. Then I will become the king of all demons. Aren't demons supposed to be like scary or something? You're not very scary. You kind of- To the kitchen! But you didn't even tell me what to cook. Something edible. Now. Number one, I will not be helping you take over my worlds. And number two, you really need to brush your teeth. Excuse me, do not walk away from me. I am an independent woman. I can do as I please. Where is the door? I found it. It's not the same as it used to be here. I don't know why. And poof, by the summon of a tear, I'm your fairy godfather. Ah! Sorry, I, I was excited to use that line. You're um. Oddly familiar. I'm Brittany. That name is oddly familiar too. Mm -mm. Anyway, I am your guardian angel. Right? Um, you don't know that you're a guardian angel? Or. I don't really know. All I can say is I just randomly popped into this place with wings with sparkles that I don't really care for. It, it takes away my manhood. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Okay, besides that, I've been sent here to help you. Help me do what? I've been given some instructions to guide you through this dangerous place. Sus! What? You're sus. How do I know it's you? How do you know me? What is your brother's name? How do you know I have a brother? What is his name? Andrew. Hmm. What is your favorite animal? Well, that might be easy to guess. Why don't you tell me what my favorite animal is? 
A squirrel. And I could tell you why, too. Let me ask something about you. Ask away. What's your favorite type of music? Techno. If I were to be any kind of mythical creature, what would I be? A mermaid. And I could tell you what color tail, too. In song form. <gasps> it's blue double G double J. Yes, yes it is. Oh, come on. You don't think I know who you are? I knew you knew, you goof. So, what brings you to this dreaded place? I don't really know. I don't even remember what was happening in the real world, to be honest. What are you doing here? Rejection count? You. Rejected. She was a bad girl. I was a good guy. What could I say? But for you not knowing why, it must have been pretty bad. Maybe the real cause is being hidden. Because I don't need to know. The first thing I know to do is to find a house that the queen of this realm has instructed me to take you to. It's specifically designed for whatever task we're both supposed to be doing. And there's more instruction there. So we're on a scavenge hunt in this weird dimension. I don't know. It's sus, I tell you. You just like saying sus. It's a silly word. Silly word, silly girl. Let's go. Ducks. Can I throw something at him? So violent. Sorry, those ducks did nothing to you. <laughs> From a scale of one to 10, how is that duck imitation? An eight. What? Not a tin? Well, it kinda sounded like a duck, but it also kinda didn't. Okay, lead on, lead on. This way. Welcome to the farm. I, I cannot do a farm voice. <laughs> a farm voice? You, you mean a southern voice? Yes, four out of ten. I already know. Hello! Is anyone here? Brittany! All good. Beef! Ah! Golden opportunity, and I took it. <sighs> of course you'd be here. Oh. That, that hurts my feelings. You know, they always say you're a nice person, but you, you're actually pretty rude. Only to a select few people. And I am glad I'm not one of them. You should be, because he can hurt. Why are you here? It was a dark day. I was working at my orphanage. Eight hour shift. I had been craving a burger from the Great Day Diner. So bad. My heart was set on it. I knew I was going because it was my birthday. And Shelby promised me, she promised me I'd be going. But then, she had a craving. She didn't want beef. She wanted pizza. Because she wanted pizza, she threw my dream away. And I couldn't have beef. This is why you're here. <laughs> yes. Gosh, that's so awful, Shane. Please tell me this is not true. Yeah, it's not true. Paulina was sent here, and I was hoping maybe I could come help her. How, how did you know? By being a snoop in your house when you're older and you're married. Who am I married to again? Her name is Nunya. Nunya? Nunya who? Nunya daggum business. I will. No, you won't. And uh, who is Paulina? She's... Someone you'll meet later. I'm so confused. I know who you are, and I know who Shelby is, but why... Why are you in the future? I don't know. Why are you so young? Cause he was born this way. Jeez. These mid-dimensions are weird. Mid-dimension? Yeah. It's like a dimension that uh, is a gateway between two different dimensions. The reality world and the imaginary world exist in one's mind. It can also be in your thoughts, your subconscious, whether you're awake or whether you're asleep. I'm sleepwalking! You never know, you could be. 
Ooh, that's creepy. Um, why are we here exactly? Sage said that we would have some kind of instruction as to why we're here. Do you know about them? I am the directions. Oh, great. Go sit down, you grump. I'm not grumpy. I'm just... Okay, I'm grumpy when you're around. <sighs> Many people feel that way about me, but it's okay. Well, Brittany, you are here to fall in love with someone. Huh? Ooh. <sighs> you will find someone in this place and love them for who they are. I can't say who, I can't say how, but I do know these things. And it is not a romantic love. Aw, oh, man. That was the main reason I came here. Well, I guess it could be a bonus, but um, it's up to you, I guess. Anyway, I, um, I have to give you this. This is yours. What is it? I call it the Element Carrier. It's a necklace. Element Carrier? The Element Carrier. It carries your elements of what makes up you. Hmm. We have to get seven of them. And I'm here and he's here, so that's two. Five left, yay! Sage, do you have one of those? I do. Why is yours colored? I am predetermined. Predetermined. Yes, your element has not been decided apparently. Why? I don't know. What made you think I know? Cause you're the one who's bringing all this stuff out of your head with the element collector. Must we argue? We must. She's right. I'll, I'll, I'll just sit here and be quiet. I'm good at that. Well, you can put these two on your necklace. Hey, why'd you put his on first? I just grabbed whatever was closest to me. I didn't think it mattered. Hehe, <laughs> I'm the favorite. How rude. Okay, I'll switch it. Jeez. Care, so sensitive. Are you offended? Absolutely. I I'm gonna go cry now. Jeez. Sometimes I put it on my burger and sometimes I don't. Oh my word. Well, anyway, I say I'll cook us some beef and then get a good night's rest and off we go. And where are we going, Mr. Know-it-all? Excuse you? There was no reason to excuse me. <sighs> we are going to collect another element. That's all the information I was given because this next element has more information. Do they know anything else about this world? They might. I've got some burgs to cook. Do you guys have anything specific you like for your burger? I like my cheese cold. What? I don't know why, I just do, okay? Some people like to put it on their burger while they're cooking, or like midway through. I don't. I put cheese on my burger when it's nice and cold, right out of the fridge, and the burger's hot. And there's just something about cold cheese on a burger, okay? Now that's sus. Oh, come on, not you two! Well, I'll remember that. Brittany likes cold cheese on a hot burger. What about you, Sage? Do it the way the law of cheese and burg is supposed to go. Hot on the grill. No cheese for Sage. Oh, so this is what friendship is. No, this is not friendship. I don't even know what this is. An annoying acquaintanceship. A forced... <sighs> tolerance. <laughs> I could say I've had a couple of those too. But Shane's a good guy. He's a goof. I kind of thought when I made him you'd kind of get along with him too, but... Well, it's the know-it-all attitude for me that just makes me difficult to get along with him. I guess everybody thinks they know a lot about certain things, but I guess it's the way people talk. Tolerance is an interesting subject. There's tolerance, and then there's enjoying one's company. Oh wow, you enjoy my company? Very much so. Very much? Wow, that, that's a lot of tolerance. I said enjoy, not tolerate. Oh, I may be arrogant too, though. Yeah, but I mean, yours is... not annoying. It's... cute. Kind of like a tsundere. Awkward. <clears throat> the beef is ready. 
Um, why are you staring at me? My eyes are on you. You better watch out, boy. Looks like I have a guardian to keep my guardian angel in check. <laughs> and this is where tolerance begins to become dislike. Ditto!